subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi! Welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Salesforce Platform Developer 1. This examination is specially designed for those candidates, who have knowledge, skills, and experience in building custom applications on the Lightning Platform. Exam Prerequisite The Salesforce Platform Developer 1 examination will definitely help you grow in a career. However, you should have the experience, skills, and knowledge in. 1. Has experience with object-oriented languages, such as Apex, Java, JavaScript, c -sharp, and Ruby. 2. Has experience with data-driven applications, and relational databases. 3. Worked with model view controller architecture, and component-based architecture. 4. Knows the capabilities of the core objects, in the Salesforce schema. 5. Knows the capabilities, and use cases for formula fields, and roll-up summary fields. 6. Is familiar with, and able to leverage relevant declarative capabilities, of the platform, where appropriate. 7. Should be aware of when to use declarative, versus programmatic methods. 8. Knows when to use the Lightning Process Builder, versus an Apex Trigger. 9. Is familiar with the basics of the Lightning Framework. 10. Can use the fundamental programmatic capabilities of the Lightning Platform, to develop custom interfaces, to extend Salesforce capabilities, and develop custom business logic. 11. Can extend the Lightning Platform using Apex, Visual Force, and basic Lightning components. 12. Is familiar with the development lifecycle, from development to testing, and has knowledge of the available environments. Now, exam details. First, content, this includes 60 multiple choice or multiple select questions, and 5 non-scored questions. Second, time allotted to complete the exam is 105 minutes. Third, passing score is 65%. Fourth, registration fee is USD 200, plus applicable taxes, as required per local law. Fifth, retake fee, is $100 USD, plus applicable taxes as required per local law. Sixth, delivery options include, proctored exam delivered on-site at a testing center, or in an online proctored environment. Exam policies. There are some policies that every candidate is should follow. These terms, and conditions give an insight into the candidate, related to the cancellation, recertification, and validity of the certificate. Also, these exam policies help candidates understand, and gather all the necessary information about after the exam, or before exam procedures. It is advised to check these policies, once before completing the registration, to avoid any kind of confusion in the future. Now, exam registration for Salesforce Platform Developer 1. For registration yourself for the examination, follow the steps mentioned below. 1. Go to the Salesforce Platform Developer 1 exam guide page. 2. Scroll down to Schedule Now. You will be directed to the Criterion Global Testing Solution page, who is the only official exam conducting partner of Salesforce. 3. After that create a new registration, and follow the prompt. 4. Locate the exam you wish to schedule, and expand the section to view the delivery options. Also, you can choose to register for the exam as on-site proctored, or online proctored. Click the register button, for the delivery method you prefer. 5. However, if you choose online proctored exams, review all system requirements in our help article, online proctoring, completing your exam remotely. 6. However, if you selected the on-site proctored exam. 7. Then select a testing center. 8. Select the date and time you would like to take the exam, read the reschedule and cancellation policy, select the acknowledgement checkbox. 9. If you selected the online proctored exam, 10. Then select the date, and time you would like to take the exam, read the reschedule, and cancellation policy, select the acknowledgement checkbox. 11. All online proctored exams are automatically adjusted to the time zone of the location you're inputted. 12. Finally, make the payment and complete your registration. 7. Then select a testing center. 8. Select the date, and time you would like to take the exam, read the reschedule, and cancellation policy, select the acknowledgement checkbox. 9. If you selected the online proctored exam. 10. Then select the date, and time you would like to take the exam, read the reschedule, and cancellation policy, select the acknowledgement checkbox. 
11. All online proctored exams are automatically adjusted to the time zone of the location you're inputted. 12. Finally, make the payment and complete your registration. Course Outline Domain 1, Salesforce Fundamentals, which comprises of 7% weightage in exam. This can be explained in three parts. 1. Describe the considerations, when developing in a multi-tenant environment. 2. Understand design frameworks, such as MVC architecture, and OR framework, and how to build applications using both declarative, and programmatic tools. 3. Given a scenario, identify common use cases for declarative, versus programmatic customizations. Domain 2, Data Modeling and Management, which comprises of 13% weightage in exam. This can be explained in four parts. 1. Given a set of requirements, determine, create, and access the appropriate data model, including objects, fields, and relationships. 2. Describe the capabilities of the various relationship types, and custom IDs, and the implications of each on record access, and development. 3. Explain the options for and considerations when importing, and exporting data into development environments. 4. Describe the capabilities, and use cases for formula fields, and roll-up summary fields. Domain 3. Process Automation, and Logic, which comprises of 38% weightage in exam. This can be explained in 12 parts. 1. Describe the capabilities of, the declarative process automation features. 2. Declare variables, constants, methods, and use modifiers, and interfaces in Apex. 3. Given a scenario, use, and apply Apex control flow statements. 4. Imagine a scenario, write Apex classes, and use Apex interfaces. 5. Given a scenario, write SOSL, SOQL, and DML, statements in Apex. 6. Imagine a use case, write Apex classes, and triggers following best practices. 7. Given a scenario, identify the implications of governor limits, on Apex transactions. 8. Describe the relationship between Apex transactions, the save order of execution, and the potential for recursion, and, or cascading. 9. Implement exception handling in Apex, including custom exceptions as needed. 10. Use programmatic techniques to prevent security vulnerabilities. 11. Given a scenario, use declarative functionality, and Apex together to automate business logic. 12. Given a scenario, identify the appropriate publish or subscribe logic for platform events. Now, Domain 4, User Interface, which comprises of 25% weightage in exam. This can be explained in 9 parts. 1. Given a scenario, display, or modify Salesforce data using a visual force page, and the appropriate controllers, or extensions as needed. 2. Describe the types of web content, that can be incorporated into visual force pages. 3. Incorporate visual force pages, into Lightning Platform applications. 4. Describe the Lightning Component Framework, and its benefits. 5. Describe the types of content, that can be contained in a Lightning Web Component. 6. Given a scenario, prevent user interface, and data access security vulnerabilities. 7. Given a scenario, display, and use a custom user interface components, including Lightning Components, Visual Flow, and Visual Force. 8. Describe the use of cases for Lightning Component events, and application events. 9. Given a user interface requirement, describe interactions between Apex, and various types of page components, including Lightning Components, Visual Flow, Next Best Actions, etc. Domain 5, Testing, Debugging, and Deployment, which comprises of 17% weightage in exam. This can be explained in 5 parts. 1. Write and execute tests for triggers, controllers, classes, flows, and processes using various sources of test data. 2. Describe the use cases, for invoking anonymous code, and the differences between, invoking Apex and execute anonymous, versus unit tests. 3. Explain the Salesforce developer tools, such as Salesforce DX, Salesforce CLI, and Developer Console, and when to use them. 4. Describe how to approach debugging system issues, and monitoring flows, processes, and asynchronous, and batch jobs, etc. 5. Describe the environments, requirements, and processes for deploying code, and associated configurations. 
Now, let's discuss about preparatory guide. First, refer the exam guide. To start your preparation for any kind of examination, the first step is always to be aware of the exam guide and course outline. For the Salesforce Platform Developer 1 examination, you should visit the official Salesforce website to get the course outline and exam guide for the above examination. Second, learning resources. This includes 1. Trailhead Academy and training will not only help you in acing the examination, but it will also help you to develop a clear and better understanding of the concept. 2. Instructor-led training. This can be done in two ways. Number 1. The programmatic development using Apex and Visual Force and Lightning Experience DEX450. Number 2. Certification preparation for Platform Developer 1 CRT450. Now, third is join a study group. It is essential to stay connected with people who have similar aims as you. Fourth, practice test. After putting in lots of effort while preparing for the examination, it is very important to get your hands on sample papers and practice tests. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.